Greetings. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be able to come your way today, spend a few moments in God's Word and pray with you. Just to remind you, the Lord said, be strong and very courageous. As I was with Moses, so I am with you. The Lord is with us. The God of the past is the God of the present. So we can be strong and courageous. We're looking at various aspects in the Word of God on how to live worry-free. And today, on reminders of what Jesus spoke in Matthew chapter 6, and he was dealing with the subject of worry. He was uh, talking to his, the audience and he said, you know, you're all worried about so many things. And if he, we were there, we would be able to relate to what he said. He said, you worry about what you will eat, what you will wear, all these things about life, all the day-to-day -day, uh, cares of this world. He said, you worry about all these things. Look at the birds of the air. Look at the grass on the field. They don't worry. And so while he was talking about that, he then tells us that the reason we worry is because we actually have little faith. So worrying is a sign that we actually have little faith. But this also gives us the antidote to worry. The cure for worry is to have faith in God. And that's what I want to share with us. Ma Matthew chapter 6, verse 30, Jesus said, If God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? So the cure for worry is to have faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God that He will take care of you, just like He takes care of all of His other creation. Have faith in God that He will fulfill His promise for you. Have faith in God that He will answer your prayer. He will work in your life. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will provide for you. He will protect you. He will keep you. He will take care of your children, of your family, of your you know, maybe your parents or for all these things that cause worry about your job, your property, your finances, whatever. Have faith in God because God has given you his promise. God has given you his word. And when you have faith in God, you can live free from worry. So faith is expressed by the words we speak. Jesus taught us that. So when worry comes, you speak your faith. You say, no, my God shall supply all my need. No, God has given his angels charge over me. They will protect me. You speak your faith. No evil shall befall me. No plague will come near my dwelling. So faith is the cure for worry. Live by faith. Express your faith. Speak your faith. Faith overcomes worry. Let's pray. Father, today we choose to walk by faith. Faith in you, faith in your promise, faith in what you will do in our lives. And we reject worry. We resist it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.